Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit about using the Unsharp mask. Um, I got a JPEG open up here. I'm going to go to Filter, and then I'm going to go to Sharpen, then the Unsharp mask. Now, the Unsharp mask is just going to sharpen the image. Uh, if you didn't, if you don't have the image as sharp as you like, you can open up the Unsharp mask, and then it'll be more clearly, more defined in the edges. Um, and that kind of adds a little bit of a, you know, a pixel to the edges and all around the area. The best thing is to do is just open the tool up um, and take the sliders and just move them back and forth, you know, as far as you can to see how much the effect is going to make a difference on the picture. And then kind of adjust it. Always have the preview button right there to see how much you're doing. So I'm just going to go through of what I like to do with the Unsharp Mask. So I'm just going to take the amount and put it all the way up. And I'll take the radius, and I can you can see the picture is changing dramatically. So that's kind of a way too much, but it's good to know how far this effect can go. So you can see of what it's, the effect is doing. So you got threshold, and that's kind of a you know I don't, I'm not sure of the technical term of where or how that is supposed to be said, but threshold kind of is when it's gonna, the effect is going to kick in, kick in, how fast. So I'm going to turn the amount down to about 159. I'm going to take the radius down to about uh, 2 pixels, maybe take the threshold to about 10, and then you, you can just take the preview little area here and just click it back and forth, see how much difference it is. Not too much of a difference. So I'm going to kick up the radius a little bit more, kick up the amount more. You can see a lot more effect. I think that's a little too much. But let's just make it too much for this example. Maybe that's just a little bit too much than we like, but I'm going to say OK. So now I'm going to go to Edit and click on the Fade Unsharp Mask here. And I can use the Opacity to see how much the effect I want to cause the image to have. So maybe I'll just put it here. And the mode's on normal. Um, if you want the contrast to come out a little bit more, you could switch it to overlay. Depends on how much other effects you're adding to the image. But if you click the overlay, this is what you get. The contrast kind of goes up. Again, you can take the opacity down. Maybe we'll keep it right here. So preview on off. I think that's a lot better. The colors are brought out. I'm not going to change anything. All I've done is use the Unsharp Mask tool in the fade and change the mode to overlay. So I'm going to click OK. And another thing I like to do is just use the History tool over here to see how far we've gone. So go back to Open. That's what it looks like. Unsharp Mask. Then I added the fade, Unsharp Mask. And that's what we did. I think that's a big improvement. So that is a little bit about using the Fade Unsharp Mask tool.